Hi, fourth graders. So this is the second video now I'm um, talking to you about the can. The first video introduced the cylinder as a form. Um, now we are just looking at the can form. So what we wanna do is think about our can needs to be the majority of our paper, okay? And so the size that we start out with the top that kind of tells us how big our can is. So when I start drawing the top of my can, that rim, I want to be pretty close to the top. You know, I'm coming down about two inches. And I want to make something that's going to be, you know, pretty large. So we know that this is a little bit smaller than the width of the can. The width of the can will probably come out to here and probably come out to about here. Um, but how big we make this top, that's really important. So when you're making this, um, today you're going to have four chances to draw a can um, and you're going to pick out your best. What you're really going to be looking at um, primarily is size. All right. So after we draw this um, top rim or that um, ovular um, shape, I like to come down and I'm showing that little lip piece. And after I come down and draw that, then starting about here, I go inside. Right. So now it looks like this little halo. <clears throat> now I start here and I'm going to go down a little ways and then I go out. Okay, once again over here, down and out the other way. All right. So now what I want to do, and I want to be down, you know, probably like the thickness of a finger. I'm going to curve and match this curve here. Okay. So trying to keep this the same thickness, I got up a little bit over on this side. Um, and then we're going to come down. Now you'll notice this sticks out further than the halo. Okay, that's what we want. All right. And this line, if you have a ruler, um, is nice. But you might want to even put a line down about as far as you want to go. Um, so I have this line here. It's pretty light. But now I'm going to draw. I'll use a ruler. So I'm looking at the space over here to see if it's going to be straight. And I'm going to come down to about here. Okay, so again, not a lot of room left in my paper. And I still got to come down even further for the rest of the can. Now again, looking at the space to see if I'm straight. Okay, now looking over at this line. It does come in a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. So now I need to go down and I need to curve, again, matching this curve here. So I'm gonna go down. Once I get to the middle, then I'm starting to curve back up okay again a straight line i'll do that you can see what a straight line would look like so i'm coming down a good ways and then kind of about the length of the halo we're gonna come down and show the bottom part of the ring of the can Okay, so it's not as wide as the can, um, and there's that. Then, for the actual drinking portion, if you draw it over here, it should be close to this corner. If you want to be drinking over on this side, it needs to be close here. If you draw it in the middle, your lips have to go over all of this just to get the water out. So, um, I like to start over here. I'm not going to be picky about how you draw this piece, All right? 
but there is your can. So nothing is inside of it. We're not worried about that. Okay. And now what you're going to do is after you finish your first can, look at the size. Okay. It should be roughly about at least six inches tall. So mine is here's six inches. It's a little bit longer than that. And about three and a half, mine's four. Okay. So those are the, that's kind of what you want to keep it around. All right. So I'll, I'll write it again at least six inches tall and at least three and a half um, wide. Okay, so that's just a little reminder to all of you guys. So once you get your first one, check, make sure, okay, I got a rim on the top here. I got a rim in the inside. I have my pop top. I have the part that comes down and out. So my um, rim is smaller than the width of the can. The width is wider, comes down. And then I also have this little bump out at the bottom for the ring that is also not as wide as the can. Okay, if you have all of that, great. Now draw it three more times um, so that you have four practice ones and only one on each paper. Um, by next week, we'll pick one of these and we'll start our pop art project. So um, good luck.